Uh, let's talk to David in Ohio. You're on the air, David. Oh, yeah, I like the story about the iPads, but you, you bought a few iPads. Why did you do that? Is that kind of support in the New World Order? Well, absolutely. I mean, I'm, that's the whole point I make is we all contribute to this New World Order system. And I pointed out in the video I made where I tortured the iPad that, that, that people are being used as slaves to build these and most other products. Uh, and then meanwhile, we don't care about the fellow humans, but people will get set about the iPad. Uh, so I think I flagellate myself, you know, enough here beating myself on air. But I will say it. I am bad. I'm a hypocrite. I am scum. How's that, David? I just wanted to point that out. But I also wanted to point out with Rand Paul, I mean, you guys say he they mess with the transcript, but he is for repealing parts of the civil rights bill. And, you know, I mean, you're in favor of that. I don't understand that. I mean, that will put us back into a system where black people won't be served in restaurants. Oh, yeah, that's really going to happen. Yeah, I know. Rand Paul, he's really dangerous. We all better run for the hills. Uh, they uh, lied about what he said, and he said that he's against people not being able to be in private clubs. Uh, and that's not even one of his campaign issues. Uh, let me ask you a question, though, David. Uh, David, do you have uh, – what type of telephone are you calling me on right now? I'm on a cell right now. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm, you know, the point is all these companies are doing this. Apple claims it's all liberal and loving. And so uh, I've always pointed out the hypocrisy of how our own society buying this is destroying us. And I point out how I'm not adequate and I'm not good. And I think it's a disgusting, pathetic argument to call into this show and then to imply that I'm some type of bad person. I mean, am I taking your rights, uh, David? No, but like an hour ago, you said the government's gang raping us. Now, I mean, you've got to tone down your rhetoric, Alex, for real. You've been saying it for years that the government wants no, to... No, the government is things. gang raping us. The government is eating out our substance like a declaration of independence. So, so David, let me guess. You've got a government job. No, I don't. I just want to ask you, don't you realize that there's a segment of your listening audience that really is deranged? And when they tell you, when you tell them... Oh, this is a classic talking point. Classic talking point, Southern Poverty Law Center, that I am going to cause deranged people to go out and do things. No, no, the government giving nukes to North Korea could cause World War III. The government giving nukes to Pakistan on record could cause World War III. Israel giving nukes uh, to South Africa could cause World War III, and they have them, by the way. Uh, and, 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 and they gave them bioweapons research in exchange. That's now on record. Uh, the government raping and robbing and stealing our wealth and our money is what's causing people to be deranged. And you're calling in implying Rand Paul is really basically an evil person that wants to black people to be back out on the back 40. And you're calling in saying, I'm evil because I talk about how I have an iPhone and how this thing is used to enslave us and control us. And I show people this and I illustrate how all cell phones track us in real time to control us. And I use it as an illustration and you call in with nothing. You're not going to do anything about the bank sucking us dry, anything about the comprehensive annual financial reports, nothing about the fluoride in the water, nothing about the cancer viruses and the vaccines, nothing, nothing. Nothing, David. What's your story, David? Who do you like politically? You like Barack Obama, David? That's been double-blind studies have proven that's not an issue. What I'm more worried about... Wait, 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 wait. Double-blind studies have shown what is not an issue? Fluoride is safe, Alex. Sodium fluoride is good for you. I'll go on the air right now and say that. What I'm more concerned about is some of your listeners... Oh, you're scared of the American people. You're, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, woo, Rand Paul, America. Sir, the bags of fluoride in the, that they put in the water have skull and crossbones on it and it says deadly poison. I, I've had top EPA scientists on of how it's a cumulative poison. The Nazis did use it in death camps. Pulitzer Prize winning authors wrote the IG Farben Crime and Punishment who were part of the Nuremberg trial. And you just call in and say double blind studies. Baloney. Baloney. All the stuff. You are. You, uh, cite your study right now. You're not answering my major point. Alex. Cite your study. You know Listen. what? I dare you then, punk. Alex, Alex. Uh, shut up. I dare you to eat an entire bottle of, of fluoride toothpaste. I dare you to eat that and videotape it live on the Internet. You know what will happen to you? You will go to the hospital, buddy, and you'll have fluoride poisoning. It says on the back of the toothpaste is deadly poison not to swallow it. Answer the question, you scum. Hey, don't worry. You're going to get what you want, you government bureaucrat. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get your big government. You're going to get your fluoride. Go take all your vaccines. Just give it all to your kids. Just you make me sick. You make me sick.